This topic's gonna cover the medication that comes under the HMJ Coreductase Inhibitor Pharmacological class. We're gonna take a look into the indication, mechanism of action, side effects, nursing consideration, and as well as the name of the drug and how do you recognize these drugs easily um, depending on like their names and everything. So first of all, let's take a look into the indication. These drugs are used for to treat the high cholesterol and also these drugs are also often used to increase the good cholesterol in the body as well. This drugs also used for the uh, prevention of the stroke and also the coronary vascular disease as you can see in this um in this uh, picture right next on the right side where you see before the treatment of these drugs which is often called as the statin we'll go over it uh, in the final slide why it's called statins as well so before the treatment of this drug the plaques formation in the vessels is quite significant you can see it's like built up and it it narrowing the lumen of the artery after the treatment of the statins it's more wider and blood can flow pretty easily through it and that's that's the main factor that decreases the incidence of stroke and coronary vascular diseases in a, in a patient so those are the indication uh, for these drugs and uh, widely used for this disease process now we're going to take a look into the mechanism of action and we'll understand why do we use this particular drugs to treat those disease process so basically like if we if you have to say in one sentence this medication inhibits hmg code reductase enzyme in the liver well that doesn't quite make sense but let's go into detail a little bit and definitely will make sense so liver has many enzymes that um, that remove the toxin metabolize the medication in our body one of the enzyme in the liver is hmj code reductase which produces the cholesterol now there are many types of cholesterol we can um, divide it into three main ones first of one VLDL which is also called as very low density lipoprotein the other one is called LDL which is low density lipoprotein and the final one is simply the triglycerides so this HMG code reductase inhibitors which is the enzyme present in the liver makes cholesterol in our body these drugs inhibits this HMG code reductase and prevent liver from making cholesterol so that's how it basically decreases the cholesterol level in our body well it decreases the cholesterol but it definitely comes with many side effects and uh, the next slide is gonna go over into the side effects and depending on the side effects which nursing consideration we need to look and um, pay attention while the patient is on this HMG code reductase inhibitor drugs all right so the first main one and often asked in NCLEX is rhabdomyolysis now that's kind of really a fancy word but it's uh, it's nothing hard to understand rhabdomyolysis it's basically breakdown of muscles well we can say in that like the muscles protein in body in the body when the protein in the muscle breaks down it produces the creatine kinase so if the patients are on this medication you may often see their creatine kinase level can go up and they complain about their muscle pain tenderness so that's the first sign and symptoms to look for if patients gonna have rhabdomyolysis and also the lab so the normal creatine level in our in a male over 18 is approximately 52 to 336 
now I said approximately because all the hospital uses different instruments and and their levels are a little bit different so you can um, go by this range it could be a little bit different in all the hospitals depending on their instruments so that's the main one you need to look for the rhabdomyolysis another one hepatotoxicity and why is that since as we talked in the previous slide that this medication inhibit one of the enzyme in the liver that means it preventing liver to do its work that can cause the hepatotoxicity because this enzyme may be responsible in metabolizing different drugs and those drugs can't can't metabolize and excrete through the kidneys so it can cause a um, toxicity I mean I don't really want to go into detail because that's not necessarily to know as a nurse so th that's the reason it causes the hepatotoxicity. In in that w case, what do you do as a nurse? As a nurse, you want to check the liver enzymes and you want to educate the patient about the follow-up liver enzyme labs. So you want to do the baseline liver function test. And also you want to do the follow-ups. Also, you want to look for the liver dysfunction symptoms. And what are those? Simply the anorexia, nausea, vomiting, and jaundice. In jaundice, um, like yellow skin, yellow sclera, um, they may may complain about the pruritus and like that those are the basic liver dysfunction symptoms because they they often often complains about the pruritus because bile doesn't get excreted really well through the liver because of the liver dysfunction and that bile deposit into the skin causes pruritus and you definitely want to tell them to avoid alcohol while they're on the medication because this medication is already affecting the liver and if they drink alcohol on top of that which is going to cause more liver damage it can cause even more hepatotox hepatotoxicity and more damage this drugs also can cause the ne peripheral neuropathy so patient may also complain about their tingling in their hands and legs so you want to look for those symptoms as well now there is a one also a good teaching point you want to tell to the patient about this medication is to take this medication in the evening or like right at the bedtime or like right after the dinner because our liver works mainly during the night it doesn't work that I mean it doesn't work at its fullest capacity during the days it mostly does its works during the night like producing the cholesterol getting out the toxin and repairing work in the body so you want to take this medication when liver is producing more cholesterol which is at night so you definitely want to tell your client to take this medication in the evening or during like right before the bed now how to find these drugs and how to remember them easily so as as we talked in the first slides these drugs are also called as statin drugs and that's the reason for that is at the end of all the drug it's statin so in this particular pharmacological class every drugs gonna end with the statin so if you see any drugs with the end of statin that means it's HMG co-reductase inhibitor quite that easy right all right I think that's about it in this medication uh, class you need to know about them um, especially as a nurse and that this will help I hope this will help with the NCLEX as well if you have any question you can email us or contact us thank you